I was looking for a course that would uh, provide me with broad scientific foundations, technical skills and practical knowledge. So I undertook the industrial chemistry degree, as it's known now, product engineering course. So before heading into industry and deciding where to start my career, I wanted to learn as much as possible. But more importantly, I wanted to explore my options. Having had the opportunity to spend time with UNSW industry partners through site visits or work experience helped me essentially to decide where to begin um, my career. So my first role out of university was at a paints and coatings manufacturer, Wattle. Now, while working at Wattle, I completed my um, PhD under the instruction of Professor Skilos Kazakos. So upon completing my PhD, I was looking for an opportunity to experience a more research-focused role. So I was really looking to become a specialist. So I had the opportunity to join uh, James Hardy as part of their coatings research team. This was an amazing opportunity to work with a cross-functional team of chemists, engineers and draftspeople to design a new technology. I spent nearly three years working on the project before um, I actually decided to move on to take a step change and move into technical management at Goodman Fielder. Then I was leading the technical team, um, managing new product development plans and pipelines for the company. I was still enjoying the role and still growing, but I actually took an opportunity to do something really different and um, pivot my career. Because I felt like just to be well-rounded um, in my roles, I needed to step out of just being technical. And so I took a role of strategic development manager at Trans-Pacific uh, to design sustainable waste management solutions for their waste streams. I needed to be more than just a uh, subject matter expert to be successful in this role. Um, and this role certainly helped me develop into a technical business leader and take a holistic view of how science, R&D and MPD contributes to the growth and future of an organisation. And as a result, I felt I was ready to take another step, step up in my career and I joined 3M. And it's in this role that I truly learned about the importance, breadth and techniques of innovation. Um, the role was extremely diverse in terms of the technologies we dealt with, the customers we supported and global interactions. But after six years, um, I was still enjoying the role, but I thought it was time to return to my passion, which is R&D. I was uh, offered the role at, of Global Technology and R&D Manager at Sally's. In this role, I was heading R&D, quality, regulatory and packaging design. Which being part of the senior leadership team, my role and responsibilities expanded, but also shifted into focusing on the company's strategy, future planning. I've now uh, taken up the role today as um, General Manager of Innovation and New Product Development at Vinodex, who are also owned by um, AliAxis. So I'm excited about establishing myself in this role, learning about the company and industry, learning new technologies and also meeting new people. Um, I'm really pleased that I get to share a new beginning in my career with you, because as you start your career in a couple of years, you can draw on all the skills and knowledge that you've built through your degree and use those skills to learn about and establish yourself in the role as well. So today I thought I'd share a little about R&D in industry and how an engineering degree can help you in this sort of career. It's such a demanding degree that sometimes you think, will I ever open up my textbook after this degree? Um, maybe not often, but you will use your knowledge and skills almost every day. And I think those skills offer you um, a world of opportunities you know, most scientists and engineers are really smart and can contribute in the industry. But I think as you progress through this degree, you're developing um, some unique transferable skills that will set you apart. I mean, you can teach knowledge in a job, you can teach skills, but you can't teach people how to think, how to approach problems or ingrain passion for science and engineering. As scientists and engineers, we see and hold the control of technology and its impact on everything around us. So utilizing this gift um, with your talent is how you can actually use your degree to create impact for the future. It will be your time to make a difference. I think the key to a fruitful career is to really do what you love and have the courage to pursue your goals.